Welcome back to Minifigure Mondays, the show that has this number of episodes, because I don't remember how many episodes there is. I think this is the fourth, maybe? No, it's the fifth. This is the fifth. We're taking a look at this guy's favorite minifigure. Yes, that's right. He commented the... Arditi. The Italian Arditi. The Italian Arditi. I got two of these guys for Christmas. The Arditi. Now, have you ever heard the expression, and I hope this doesn't really kind of send you reeling and get you upset with, the, with the graphic nature of this phrase, oh, God. but have you ever heard the expression, badass? Yes, I've heard of the expression, badass. All right, well, when you- I'm sorry, soul, you're watching with the sun. We know our audiences. And we, when, from, from now we're on, sad for that. From now on, when you hear that phrase, you're going to think... B.A. The Italian Narditi. Okay. Because they were the original shock troops. These guys were ferocious. They were formed in 1917, young Joshua. Okay. By the Italian military, because they were sick of this trench warfare that they were fighting there in the Southern Alps against the... Uh, Germans and the uh, Austro-Hungarians and so they came up with this idea of forming an elite group a lot of them came from the Alpine regiments these were the best the brightest the most motivated the most athletic the best in the Italian military and the idea was they would throw these guys into the trenches and they usually would go in with just interestingly enough just knives Knives and hand grenades were their main thing. Uh, sometimes they had flamethrowers. Most of them didn't even carry a rifle. The idea was to jump in the trench in a hurry, get down and dirty, slit throats, and then pave the way for the trenches to be overrun. And that's just what they did. They were ferocious and fearless. And their specialty was hand-to-hand -hand combat. So these guys are kind of the original shock troops the original special forces, if you will, and they they wore armor. They had they had these kind of strange helmets. I'm gonna stop doing that for my own safety. And Arditi, Arditi, Arditi <laughs> is Italian, in. loosely translated as daring ones. Daring ones. And they struck fear into the heart of everyone that ever faced them. So from 1917, 1918, they were the true bad man of the Italian army. I was trying to play stay PG here. Yes, yes. And so Landon got together with the folks at Brickmania and they came mm -hmm. up with this bad boy. Yep, um, first off, we're gonna get a close up right now. Just look at this dude. Does he scream out, I mean business, baby? Yep, and what's that, uh, weapon he has there? Well, you know, I'm not exactly sure, young Joshua. I'm embarrassed to say I did all kinds of research on the RDET, <laughs> and and the only things mentioned are submachine guns, flamethrowers, grenades, and of course their daggers. This looks like a, a wire cutter or a pike. I don't know. If anybody uh, down in the description, I mean down in the comments could let us know, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm sure we're going to get skewered. But I honestly spent a couple hours looking, and I could not find anything. Whatever it is, it looks dope and cool. But look yep. at the, the side printing. and Oh, yeah. It's an awesome minifigure by... You can just see this guy going... We got two of these guys. Hey, subscribe, or I'm going to take my RDD, and we come in at nighttime. Make you wish you'd subscribe. Now that's uh, reversible. Yes. So is that like more armored protection? Don't know. Do people want to, me to change this to the regular camera? <laughs> Let me know. I wouldn't. Anyway. So a super What's... super interesting World War Two World War One figure. And you get three three D printed custom things. Yes. In this. So it's. Very, very cool. Yeah. I'm going to use these personally for, like, guards somewhere. It'd be good. If I was in a mock or something. Or if you have a trench you want Storm, these are the guys. Yes. 
I still and, cannot uh, figure their, out their weapon, though. Their fighting record was superb. Yeah, we're going to get skewered, probably, for not knowing what that weapon is. If you can find but... it in three hours, I doubt <laughs> the patrons out there are going to. And it looks like some kind of wire cutter. Or... I'm not... It's embarrassing. Know. But anyway... We don't know. There you have it. But not everything, my young Joshua friend. We have not mentioned our fabulous sponsor, Cosby's Bricks. In the box. It's got a brick link store. Use the code word BRICKAFIT. In the description. And get 10% off. In the description, click the second link, I believe. Maybe the third. And. But it would say use code word BRICKAFIT for 10% off. When you hit 1,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. we open the mystery box. Ooh, could there be a connection? I don't know. When we hit 1,000, I guess we'll find out. So, like... We're also nearing 750, so please subscribe, yes. comment, share it to your friends. Mm-hmm. And keep those hands washed and those masks on. Yeah. Believe me, I know from personal experience. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want to do. All right, so the Italian Arditi. So there, we'll see you on the next one, or before, who knows?